Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna go through the top 5 best ways to make gear for my server, which is Cerberus. Now it's different for every server, what sells better than what else. Like for example, if you're in a server where there are a lot of raiding going on, maybe potions is the best way to make gear. Selling potions rather than selling 350 battle gear and so on. But for just my experience in the server, I'm gonna go through them. So for number 5, it's ga still gardening for me. Thavnarian Onion still selling quite well. Thavnarian Onions, as you can see. I've, I've been selling it almost every day. And Blood Peppers. Blood peppers are needed for the primal minions to craft the primal minions. Weaver crafts them. And they're selling a lot as well. Another thing is the royal fern. Royal fern is like the storm blood version of blood pepper, which is used to craft certain minions and other housing items and so on. And then there is jute. Jute is used to craft a lot of nice housing housing items so you can all can plant all of these and make all of these and sell them if you wanna have more details I will link my gardening guide in the video description you can also go to ff14gardening.com to learn more about gardening number four best ways to make gill is selling sands and legendary materials I'm categorizing both as number four because they're all related to gathering. So the latest sand, the dust glow either sand, is is the hot one right now, one of the hot ones I should say. As you can see, just yesterday a, a ton of them got sold. Like the sale history doesn't go back to two days before. That's how much they've been selling and it's all in stacks of 10, 25 and so on. Another good sand is the dusk light. Dusk light is used to craft the best crafting food available right now, which is the matcha. So dusk light is also a good one to sell. I have guides of for gathering sands. I will link in the video description. But for dusk light, I will show you a method that I haven't shown before. And the other. Ever Sands, Ever Born, Ever Deep, and Ever Bright. They also still sell quite good because they're still needed to craft a 350 battle gear, which is relevant for fresh level 70 battle jobs. Some people buy the 350 battle gear on the market board to quickly hit the item level requirement to hit the, to do the latest dungeons and so on, the latest trials and all that. So these sands are still relevant and I think they will get, they are going to be used next patch in 4.4 when the next set of bat crafted battle gear comes out. These are going to be relevant again so be sure to prep them as well. Downlight is used still. Because downlight is needed to craft the resuis for to craft the 350 battle gear. So uh, pretty much all of the storm blood sands are relevant right now to sell and the original folklore items as well like silver grace or night steel or paladin or for minor especially hawks eye the latest one and for botanist hardened veteran tree sap black willow log and hinnegan flax these are still really good to sell. You can just take the Hinnigan Flax as an example. As you can see, the sale history doesn't go back more than one day. It's been selling that frequently. I think Night Still Ore is even better because a lot of the tools needed, the new crafter and gatherer tools. So Night Still Ore is a good one. Yeah, Night Store is like twice the price of Hinnigan Flax. 
So just research your own market board and see what is best to gather and sell. But the Sansi will not go wrong with them in every server, I think. Number three best ways to make gear for me right now is the latest crafter and gatherer gear they added, the recipes. So as you can see, these are a few of them in my sale history for this retainer. They've been selling really slowly, but when they do sell, it's still quite good price, especially the tools, as you can see. Night steel tools. Let me show the other retainer that I sold a few of the crafter gear with. Yeah, as you can see, it's mostly the tools. The chest for gatherer. And the left side for crafter as well. And number two best way to make gear is selling the 350 battle gear that, that, that they added in patch 4.2. Like the true linen robe of casting. Jacket of aiming. This is my sale history. Skirt of fending and so on. Rob of healing. Before we go to number one, there are a few honorable mentions, like the creation mats. If you are someone who do dungeons frequently, roulettes and all, you will have a lot of creation to spend. Then you can sell the Stavnarian materials or the Grand Sloth Belt. Be sure to buy in queue, you will get more quantity and you can sell them. Sell more, basically making more gil if you buy NQ. Because one NQ cost only 20 tombstones of creation. So don't have your creation at cap. You can make a lot of gil with it. Same thing with poetics. You can turn poetics into grade 3 thanal and topsoil. Or grade 3 shroud topsoil. Check which one of them have... Check which one of them sell most in your server and sell that one. Another thing is the Grand Company Handings. Like for every level range there is Grand Company Handings that you hand in to get experience and Grand Company Seals. And most of the time people are lazy to do craft these themselves so they just buy it from the market board. Few examples, Chimerical, Tabard of Striking, check the sale history. For a level 60 craft, you can make over 200k gil, which is, which is insane. Chimerical, skirt, and so on. There will be a link in the video description which will tell you all of the possible Grand Company handings for every crafter class. So check them out and check the server and find out which one of them sell the best for you. That is the... This is awesome, an awesome way to make gear because you don't even need to be level 70 crafters. You can make tons of gear even on your way to level 70 while leveling up. Another one is Razik Sand. This is bought with Grand Company seals and it's needed to craft Golden Goat, which all of the new crafter and gatherer tools need. And as well, I heard the crafting the new housing. The other other housing, I think it was, need a lot of gold ingots, so the Razik Sand is in demand. Right now in my server it doesn't cost a lot, but check it in your server and see if it's worth. Kingcraft Demi Materia is also a good one if you are farming a lot of crafter yellow scripts and you wanna sell them. If you have any more honorable mentions, be sure to leave them in the comments down below so people can see them and take a look at them. Now, for the Grand Five Finale, the number one best way to make gil in Cerberus is potions and food. Grade 2 infusions mainly. Let me show you the sale history for strength. Look at that. It's been selling like candy. It's ridiculous. And it's uh, really at a decent price. And the mats for these are really easy to get, and I've provided macros how to HQ them. And I will provide a macro, updated macro of these with the latest gear as well, soon. So this is insane, you can just, 
if you have a lot of time on your hands, you can just macro. Or you don't even need to have, you can like do something else while macro craft these infusions. You only need to pay attention while gathering the mats, I suppose. Look at that, that's for dexterity. Strength seems to be the best one. From the cell history at least. Intelligence. Not a lot of black mages, so maybe intelligence. Well, actually, it's still good. And so on. Mind is also good. A lot of healers use it to do DPS. And for food, you can sell the Crimson Cedar. Still good. Is still good. Crimson Cedar, as you can see, still sells like candy. If we take a look at the cell history here. Yeah, indeed. It's literally just every day, every hour it sells. And another food is matcha. It's a new crafter food. It's, it's the best crafting food available right now. Same thing. I remember these are all three per recipe as well. So yeah, this takoyaki, is, this seems good. Like this one is good for casters. Yeah, it's been actually selling quite good as well. So just see around for yourself what is best to do in your server and just research the market board like I'm doing. You can look at the sale history and determine if it's worth doing or not for yourself. Anyway, that's all for this top 5. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you found it helpful, please like, favorite, subscribe and share. And if you want to support the content, please do that on Twitch or Patreon. Thank you so much and I'll see you on the next guy. Take care and bye bye. Bye from Ash as well.